Hello, welcome to Friday 5. This is the fourth week of it. Two weeks are going super fast doing this uh, Friday 5, but it's good. I'm uh, delighted to be able to talk to you. First thing I wanted to mention was just, it's tough out there at the moment, eh? Uh, with the old lockdowns and all that sort of stuff going on. So just want to mention, make sure you're paying attention to your mental health. Um, and my advice is to try and get outside, no matter what the weather is. Get out on your bike, quick spin, 5k or 10k, 5k out and 5k back again. Um, hop on the bike and practice wheelies outside in the front lawn, go for a walk. Just mind yourselves and stay positive and uh, yeah, all is, all is going to be fine. It's all going to be good. So the second thing I wanted to mention about, this is a lad that does ride his bike every day. I'm going to just introduce you to Adam Moffat. Adam uh, does work experience here with us and he is an absolute shredder on a bike. He's got some serious trial skills. Check out this mashup of clip. He's a very shy lad, quite quiet. He lets his bike and do the talking, so uh, check him out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Number three. So um, have a little look, check out what we do with the silver service here in the workshop. So a quick run through of our silver service. First of all, we give the bike full check over from front to back. We start with the wheel hubs, check for noise or resistance, check for play. We'll um, check the headset bearings, check for resistance there and we'll check for play on the ground and rear wheel hub with the uh, free hub as well. We'll listen for any uh, bad noises or anything like that. Silver service brake cables are changed. Inners and outers working nice and smoothly and making sure that they're balanced, set up correctly on the rims. Check your rims as well, make sure they're not worn if you're using rim brakes. We will take the seat post out, give it a give it a clean, fresh carbon paste or grease depending on the bike. Pop back in again, rear brake of course. We will check the derailleur as well. Um, new gear cables and if need be, new USB spring. Uh, this part here on the derailleur, that can uh, often give some trouble. Chain is checked, placed if necessary. Bottom back it is checked, check for noise check for play and replace if necessary and we give the whole bike a nice clean um let's check it on went for some fresh bar tape as well so silver service completed number four um remember last week i mentioned we got the uh, kona process x in well here it is kona process x bike check here we have the longer slacker on a process compared to the 153. Come with Fox 38s up front, 170 mil travel, with a 160 mil travel Fox DPX2 in the back. Drive trains taken care of by a Shimano DRXT 1x12. Matched up with the XT brakes. Dropper post is the Transx Rad dropper post, which you find it really good. This one, it actually has a plus minus 30 millimeter uh, travel adjust on it, which is pretty neat. 
has a WGTB Kona branded saddle, which I find really comfy. I've been using it on my bike for a while. Look at the rust there. Yeah, customers coming in. And we've got the Shimano DRXT brakes there. And you can have all this for $5,999. Oh yeah, forgot to mention the wheels. We have GT Swiss 370 hubs laced onto Tub GB KOM I30 rims. With your Maxxis rubber as the guy in the front. And on the back, Union DHR. Classic combo. And finally, for Friday 5, check out this thing. Um, this is dropped in by somebody who asked us, asked us to sell it for them. So um, we brought it in. We uh, sell uh, second-hand bikes on commission here. But this thing is, is not a bicycle. This is an electric motorbike. So as I said, this is an electric motorbike, not a bicycle. Those pedals there are fairly useless. You don't want to be pedaling this thing around. Um, it does have two modes, it's got a low speed li limited mode of 25 kilometers an hour so it kind of would classify as an electric bicycle there but it does have a high mode uh, which I think goes up to about 90 kilometers an hour. Uh, as I say, it's crazy, it's good condition, barely used and has about 159 kilometers on the clock. Um, comes with even a phone char holder with a charger against the battery. It's also got a alarm on it as well, so you can do a blip blip, and uh, if anybody touches it, it will make a very, very loud noise. Um, got the wing mirrors and all the bits and pieces. So, um, as I said, you would need a license and insurance for this bike. Uh, we're just selling the bike itself, but uh, feel free to come and check it out. So that's it for our Friday Five. If you like this stuff, then uh, drop us a comment, please. So let us know how we're getting on. Any suggestions, anything you'd like to see. Uh, Anywhere we can make the video better. It's something that's brand new to me to do. And um, I'd love to get your feedback. So drop me a line. Have a good week. See you next Friday.